Hello to you, everyone. I had a uh, request, a comment from the Hacker Life Simulator video from BJ for more Cyber Manhunt. I didn't plan on doing a second part because it didn't really seem like it warranted it uh, to me, but, um, you know, I, uh, I play a game for an hour or so and... Uh, maybe I didn't get all I could out of it, and if people want to see more, you know, hell. At the moment, I'm just waiting for intake to finish on my um, Forensic Challenge Labs anyway. So while that's running in the background, I uh, I might as well. So let's see where we're at. I might have to get back to my... That is freaking me out there in the background. Let's see. Okay. I, I Oh, there we go skip might have to get back to where i was before i'm not sure if the initial uh oh, i'm gonna need audio okay i'm not sure if uh my progress will be saved i did uninstall the game after i played it last so this is the new dlc a company man of titan um it looks like i can continue although i'm not really sure if i remember how to play the game let's just jump into it and find out <clears throat> Poppy Pie. Oh, I thought it was Poopy Pie. I don't know if I typoed or if it changed it, but anyway. Uh, 14th October, Death of a Programmer. Click. Okay. It's old Ashley Clayson back again. Hey, good to see you again. Good to see you too. It's been a while. Since you have completed the test mission perfectly, we can directly go to the real mission. Okay. The official mission is way more complicated than you think. Oh, okay. Are you actually going to pay me for this one? Because last time you made me work for you for free as a quote-unquote interview. I don't know why games do this where it's like, if there's only one thing for me to say, why make me click on it? Why give me... Like, there's not even an illusion of choice here. Like, just have the dialogue say who's talking and have it go. Excellent. We need you to investigate the death of a software engineer. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am a hacker after all. That He's is why you hired me. IT company. It would be great if you could also dig up secrets on the company. Okay. What does that have to do with his death? Something here you're not telling me. Oh, that's exactly what I said. Oh, how does it relate to our company? That's not your concern. Well, the then fuck you. No basis only. Well, I need to know, bitch. This is my fucking... If you want me to work for you, you gotta give me the information I feel I need. I get to decide. I clearly would not do well in, uh... Well, Remember, <laughs> there's a reason why I'm in academia. Focus on completing the mission, understand? <laughs> Remember, this is your focus on the mission. Okay, well, I guess I will. See, I would never agree to a job like this. I will send the mission information to you by email. I mean, I would agree to a job like this, but not under these conditions where it's like, just do it, monkey. Just do it. You haven't even discussed how much you're going to pay me. I'm not lifting a fucking... I'm not pressing a single key here until we start talking about pay. I hope you can complete it successfully. Don't let me down. Hmm... Um, on October 13th, researchers at the cybersecurity firm hack and claim to have recently found a public system to not have to give us a private data here to use the database models of type matrix and conventions and information such as real blah 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 Shared. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> what happened between Modi and Lisa? Why did Modi complete, commit suicide? I thought he... What is the truth behind the incident? The deeply hidden secrets. Okay. Operation log. Um, all right. Oh, shit. Okay, I was going to say, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Welcome to Titan Matrix. Congratulations, you passed the test and are now part of Titan. I'll send you information to the target by email going forward. I hope it will help. 
I might check the information you uploaded to the shared folder anytime. Of course, this is not meant to monitor you, but rather just to know your work progress and assist you. Uh, I don't think so. I disagree. I don't believe. Press X to doubt. There is news related to the mission. Click a link to have a look. Finally, we hope to have a good collaboration. Breaking news. Keppel Modi. Crime and Punishment, Barbie Saya, latest single. DeFoss founder, Apple Modi, committed suicide and left a note claiming extortion by former wife involving millions. I, uh, I can't resize anything. Okay. Today, some people posted that Capital Modi, CEO of DeFoss, committed suicide by jumping off the building where the company is located on the internet. What? He jumped off the building where the company is located on the internet. The building is located on the internet. Name. Uh, that's really messing me up. Jumping off the building where the company is located on the internet. Is it there where their data center is physically located? Did he jump off a virtual building? Is this a, is, is this a metaverse thing? Is this a metaverse thing? The reason of suicide is suspected to be related to his ex-wife. The reporter learned from the police that the deceased did indeed commit suicide by jumping off the building. His family reported the case, and the police are currently investigating. This has caused an uproar in the online world. It is reported that Modi and his former wife, Lisa Snyder, met through the... I hate it that it pops that shit up and gets in my way. Met through the dating site iMeet. After getting married, Lisa said she had experienced domestic violence from Modi and therefore demanded 10 million euros as compensation. Modi suffered a major blow as a result. The company was also affected. Now, I'm, uh, I am American, and I am familiar with the American judicial system as a result, but um, despite that, I, I know a thing or two about EU courts and uh, even other domestic courts abroad, international domestic courts. Uh, so uh, uh, with the, the idea that uh, she experienced domestic violence and therefore demanded 10 million euros doesn't exactly ring true. I suppose you, you, could, you could file a lawsuit requesting that kind of compensation, but whatever. DeFoss's service currently has 70 million users and greatly influenced Olivia, 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 but DeFoss has not issued any statement until now. Okay. Feels like uh, I meet is uh, a thing. And I can't highlight domestic violence. It seems like that should go under what blah, blah, blah. And also, uh, Modi suffered a major blow as a result. The company was also affected. Seems like it should go here under that, but. Fine. Okay. Uh, cr <laughs> crack database. Um, seems like we should be doing a social networking search. That's what I would do. I would start looking for those. I don't think that's a thing we can do, though. Let me uh, get a little bit of a refresher here on what uh, we have available to us, because it has been uh, a good while since I last played this business. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. We need additional information, too. I don't have that yet. Capital Modi, additional information. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's not going to do it. Of course not. Uh, okay, so not that. What's this crack? What is that again? Real name, paste. Um, yeah, we also need more information for that. Okay, then, uh, can I search for these things? I can. Um, enter member name. 
The account has been canceled. Similar recommendations. Okay. Thirty-three years old. I should be able to click on that because that relates to her birthday, but for some reason I can't. Like that. I hate that it does that. Just I play the noise. Do the side pop-up thing. Don't get into my fucking way here. Uh, I prefer men from Gaudi between the age of 30 and 38 years old. This should relate to her birthday, but it we can't collect it. She's 33 years old. Can I collect it here? No. 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 I don't know, man. I don't know, man. All of this seems like information I should be collecting if we're supposed to use it to crack. Well, not all of it, but certainly some of it. Well... All right, well, we could fish, database, uh, we can try cracking, I guess. Paste. Um, no, we can't, because for some reason, uh, or we couldn't collect her DOB. So we can't do that. And for the database, what, uh, what information do we need? Name, uh, telephone number, house number, uh, we got a high talk account right here. Permission denied. Okay, we got some information here. Collect all that. Okay. Part of me, just a moment. <clears throat> Name, tell, you'll be ID, um, house number, and as for her nickname, um, I mean, it seems like we should be able to use that. That's Apparently not. Let's try crack. Oh. Correct password can only be generated if accuracy reaches 100%. So I guess we need uh, to fish. So let's do. Let's try uh, fishing. Okay, I can't just click the button to do it. We have to actually open it up. Well, let's go to high talk. Oh, shit. Was I, do I have... So what's oh um this one nothing's happening why is nothing happening okay well um compose to i can't actually Can't actually do anything here. Okay. Voss. No search results. I don't know why it doesn't open anything with phishing here. Anonymous calling. No call. There's this. Fishing link, no hacking target. Do I need to do something to target her or no? Um, okay, I can't I can't remember if there's something I need to do to select a target. Um let's try um Olivia. That's not a thing either. Um, how about I just search their names? Bill Modi.
After a recent suicide of Kepamodi, a competitor's stock price rises. After the suicide of Governor of Honor de Foss, reports circulated poor management within the company. Shortly after the track division of Did Devos shuts its doors? Is that a typo? Should that be DeFoss? A competitor capitalizing opportunity for market share launching a rival drone delivery service, the Endeavor won over investors by demonstrating the convenience and advantages of drone technology. The Want Shopping website has completed testing of the drone delivery system. Shoppers are asked to install a delivery drone terminal at home. Going forward, all goods ordered online will be delivered by drone from a central distribution center. Um, okay. Find out more, check out the indie puzzle game keyword on Steam. Okay, let's do. How about keyword a spider's thread? Is this an advertisement for another one of their games? Uh, um. No. Well, at least it seems to be a different developer. Uh, it is a puzzle detective immersive sim. It looks good. And uh, become an investigator in keyword and narrative thriller where you'll depend on skills of logical deduction, hacking, and social engineering to solve challenging puzzles well. Uh, it sounds like it should be one that I do on this channel, so I'm gonna wishlist it, and I will, how much is it? It's only 17 bucks, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. You got me, Cyberman Hunt. You got me. Your in-game advertisement worked. I'll be there. Uh, Toothbook. Modi Programmer. Capital Modi is a... I didn't do the thing, so I have to stop reading while I did uh, oh, okay. Well, this is what I would do in real life if I was doing an OSINT investigation. I, I would uh, look into their social media accounts. That is what I mentioned before. So, um, Do you all believe that I'm evil? Uh, so when is this supposed to be... Well, I'm going to go back to the email and see when this is supposed to have come in. Uh, this is supposed to come in October 14th, 21. So this was a mere week ago in terms of the game. Do you all believe that I'm evil? You are all standing on that woman's side, but I am the one who is really going to die now. She lied about her marriage to me. And took 10 million euros and a house for me after the divorce. I have nothing left. Good, I will go meet my maker now. You got what you want. <laughs> 52k likes. One love. <laughs> go to hell even god won't forgive you uh -huh, isn't it embarrassing that no one is stopping you from jumping off the building cut this act um he's guest 50 uh, 85 61 seems to know a lot about what he intended to do so much talking why don't you just jump and we can call an ambulance for you wow isn't this mr Modi, the ceo of defaust 10 million euros should be nothing for him right then you should just take your own life oh the internet is a savage brutal place nightmare uh, who are you who are not pure dare to judge your wife disgusting you are your wife's nightmare what is the point of talking so much if it's true why don't you call the police I believe you are innocent be strong let your wife go that would count as a good deed Barbie says crime and punishment has been playing non-stop in the past few days I've been under a lot of pressure at work recently I feel much better after listening to Barbie say a song songs uh, yes, it's really soothing, but it seems to be only available on Gru Music. Um, we're going to have to search the rest of those links, but... Okay. Oh, shit. It overwrote my other... Why doesn't it do another... Ugh! It went to the tab with my other search results, and I, of course I can't go back. Went to my tab with my other search results and just... Oh, that's so stupid. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yes, and it's exclusive. Um, I love Lisa. Oh, how things changed. 
Just four months and you already showed your true face. Stop fooling us, you liar. I believe you used to be a good man. A pleasant evening. You won't even admit that you are in a relationship. No one will believe you. The restaurant looks fancy. Is this how you get women to fall for you, bastard? Eating, traveling, all tricks. On the last day of 2020, I was still working. Well, great. You get the brownie points. Bet it matters a lot now that you're dead. It's been two months since I registered on iMeet and spent 50,000 euros to become a premium VIP customer. But why did they recommend this kind of? Ah, uh, you certainly aim high. Yeah, you're you're kind of our app is online, exciting moment. That was uh last year almost to the day. Recently someone recommended me to join iMeet. Is this type of dating site reliable? The recommended girl is very good. What the fuck? That doesn't sound like dating to me. Working overtime with a hamburger as my companion. Wow. Well good for you, I guess. Um, okay. Well, I want to go back and get the search results that we didn't see for example, Modi before we go to Groom Music. Um, Lisa Snyder's legal team issued a statement. Uh, there's something on death of this morning. Typical former life. Lisa Snyder has hired the firm to handle all legal matters. Uh, this is the full text of the statement. <clears throat> Short marriage before her former husband Robert. See, all of this, there's so much information here that should be going into the file, but it's not because the way the game is designed, um, we have to be able to click on it in order to add it to pertinent details. But some of these details are most definitely pertinent. Like, they should at least be going in a draft report right now. Um, which that's my biggest problem with this game is I, there are no, to my knowledge, and I haven't hardly played all of them, but to my knowledge, there are so few good OSINT games. Uh, and this has the potential to be one of those, except the game mechanics get in the way of making a, a good OSINT game. And by OSINT game, I really mean like an, like an, up, like a simulator, um, there should be less hand holding. There should be no clicking to collect things. You should just give a notepad and let the people take the notes that they want to take because that's what, oh, this whole thing can be collected. I just noticed that when I hover over it, the whole thing is highlighted. That's still annoying though, because, well, whatever, just put a notepad and let people take the notes they want to take and let them collect the information on their own. This collect feature is really what kills it for me legal statement a picture with many important clues yeah no shit thanks for letting me know anyway all right so uh defoss founder committed suicide breaking news is where i was before yep that's where i was before <clears throat> harvey modi withdrawn due to ligament industry. Doesn't seem to be related, but let's check it out anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's related. All right, let's go back and now search for Gru, Gru music. Um, okay. Was it all one word? Yeah, here we go. Um, first things first. It's going to come up nothing because it's just a simulacrum of a site. Uh, this one's probably going to work. No? Okay. Uh, popular singer Barbie Say recently announced that her that her will bring new song Crime and Punishment to the Guru Music platform and declare that all songs are free online trial listening, which aroused enthusiastic response from that's quite a headline. Barbie Saya, who has a changeable voice, has quickly become popular in the entertainment circle with a number of hits, but she, I feel like that's, they really buried the lead on this one. Changeable voice, excuse me. Uh, group music, serious years is only 
doo-doo music and uh, Skynet cloud music, but also a large-scale online. Uh, yeah. Uh, so top of the software, download this and installed penetration. Okay. And that's the last one on that. Okay, then let's search for our other person, which is Lisa Snyder. All right, there's Lisa's thing. Here's Sweet Lisa. That's her username. That's her name. Lisa's toothbook has access restrictions. It is not easy to get her information. There we go. Um, it's not easy to get her information. Well, I can see if her. If we can find a way to log into her toothbook, we will see all the posts. Perhaps the password reset function can help us. Right. So, as I was saying, that's that's the piece of information we were missing before. Okay. Uh, saw that one. Tim Snyder. This is not related, but let's click it anyway. That is as I thought it would be. All right, so go back to the SQL database. Let's do it. Or not, the, it's the crack. That's what we wanted to do. That's the one. All right. Um, real name. ID number. I do like the feature where you can just click on things to copy and paste them, although I don't think it's enough of a... Um, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of a nice convenience feature than anything else. It's not really any better or worse than Control-C, Control-V. So, Lisa8849. Okay, then password reset. Hmm? Hmm? says it's not her toothbook ID. Okay, let's go. It says Sweet Lisa. Okay, uh, then let's do the sequel. Name. Paste. Um, oh, we already did this. We already did this one. Uh, let's just run it again, just to be sure. Yeah, we already collected that. Okay. That looks familiar now. What the fuck? All right. Well, let's password reset. Toothbook ID. Let's try her email, I guess. No. Crack. We just did this. The uh this this mechanic here is also one that I would do away with if I were to to if I were to try to take what uh, Cyber Manhunt is doing and turn it into um, a better uh, OSINT challenge game or OSINT simulator game, uh, I would do away with, with this part of it. Um, well, I wouldn't do away with it necessarily. Um, I guess what I would do is instead of having whatever SQL database search this is supposed to be, which I don't even fucking know what this is supposed to be a simulacrum of, uh, is I, I would just have it be a password brute forcer, right? So you, you have a password list in the game that you can try, um, but, and then you, uh, but you, you need to narrow down your results using personal information. 
uh, whatever the sequel, this is just, has nothing to do with anything. Um, yeah, we're just going to get the same results we already collected. So, um, yeah, collected. Right? Yeah, collected. All right, so that's not going to do us any good. I just don't understand what the deal is then, because that, that's, that's the nickname we are cracking. So, um, and I still can't do the fishing thing. That's the cracking thing. And now I can't click on anything over here at all. Log in. Password reset. The account does not exist. What the hell? What am I doing wrong here? Um, are we, what is the password to then? We used Sweet Lisa as our seed. So, if, I mean, okay, password reset features for social media accounts like this. When, when was it? Okay, this is 2021, so it's a recent enough game that it's not going to have an on-site password reset feature anyway. Maybe they're trying to tell us that we need to... Is this supposed to be her email password and we have to get into her email in order to do the password reset? Which, if that's the case, then... Um, okay, it is her email password. I can't adjust the fucking size of anything. This was bigger before. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. God damn it. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, it wasn't bigger before. That was the message preview button. I need to be able to resize things. Everything is very cramped. Everything is, well, except for this goddamn thing taking up the entire quarter of the screen over here. Everything is too small. Browser needs to be about Put it right here, about yay big or so. This, same. Um, all right, anyway. Happy trading order notification. Order number, uh, ordered one, only one once. Looking to sell 50% off original price. Okay, so, bought address. Well, Lisa, I've sent a legal letter to Mr. Modi. I believe he will contact you soon. James Joyce, my God. James Joyce is back from the dead and became a lawyer. Um, all right. This is, all of these are before his death. Right? Now I'm starting to lose track. Uh, yeah, he died on the 7th. Oh, okay. <sighs> I meet. Uh, is there anything... Important, you know. Oh, yeah. Lawyer name. In here, it doesn't seem important, but okay. Archer, Basil, Matt, Bruce, Elroy. You may modify your preferences. And blah, 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 blah. This doesn't look. Buying more clothes. Bank statement. Spends a lot of time at the Coastal Sunset Cafe, or did. Celebrity jewelry refund. And the restaurant. Um, when was that they were at a restaurant? Or he was at a restaurant, I should say. I love Lisa 686. Six. Some sizable, sizable deposits around that time. Uh, four thirty. She did not pay for dinner. Okay. That sharing order notification. Gotcha. I do appreciate the verisimilitude that the game puts into. Um the websites and the emails here. Uh, I do got to say, that's definitely above average. Definitely appreciated. 
if it's uh if it weren't for the fact that i feel like i'm on rails um or uh that i feel like um the game is doing a lot of the work that i should be doing this would be an excellent osint game it really would be uh because you know they're so rare and to find one that's this detailed is is a real gem um oh right i forgot it highlights in red the important things that i need to collect right of course lisa spent a lot on luxury goods doesn't look like she did i mean there's there's the one significant withdrawal happy sharing order notification which we know she's been spending money on clothes so this is not i wouldn't consider it necessarily to be a uh, important piece of information but she's she spent uh, she spent 21,990 uh, on clothing we have the or we have the orders here to show that but look at how much she's making like she spent she spent a lot on luxury goods well yeah but she's a fucking millionaire <laughs> you know <laughs> so so what uh, that's that's uh, less than a fifth of the money that she's been bringing in here. $600,000 right here. So, you know, yeah, she's spending a lot on luxury goods, but she's rolling in the dough. If anything, this tells me that she wouldn't have killed him for the money. Right? She didn't really need the $10 million even, it seems like. But, you know, who am I to say? All right. So we don't need to collect any of this. Uh, VIP, we're always going to have you. Since it goes for each VIP member, you are invited to experience the April D premium. Well, they sort of collect the case of blah, 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 blah. Cherberry. Shareberry? Is that what it's supposed to be? Um, and I mean, even though she's spending a lot on luxury goods, I mean, look at these orders. She's buying used goods at a discount. So. She's got a lot of money. She's spending a lot of money. But she's still thrifty. She's still looking for discounts, right? She's not buying shit brand new off the rack. So this is not what I would consider to be a valid piece of evidence or information. If anything, it's exculpatory instead of inculpatory. I don't see old Modi on the list. Capel was his first name. So... That's the only I meet, um, whatever we got. But now that we have this, can we do a password reset for Sweet Lisa? Okay, the account doesn't exist. Sent. Trash. There's nothing there. So we have her email password, but we don't have compose to. No, no. Okay. Okay. All right, that's all seven of those. Uh, I'm in her email, but I can't, and she has no sent messages, and she has nothing in her trash. So, um... Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. I didn't see that there was a, a an ID number down here. That's okay. That explains that. I was missing an important piece of information. A legitimately important piece of information. You did a great job. Thanks. Can I get paid now? Now, in order to see what is hidden on Toothbook, you just need to log into Lisa's mailbox. 
I already did. You want me to send you an email from it? Uh, your toothpick password has been reset. Your password has been reset to the default password. Please modify your password. Ba -ba -ba. See, there was no reason for Ashley to come up there and tell me that. The, the website said that. So, it's just an example of, like, I feel like the, the game is making things too easy. I, I know I got hung up just a moment ago because I didn't have that piece of information, but that was 100% my fault, and the game didn't help me to figure that out anyway. So... Anyway, I'm really sad. I didn't expect that breaking up with Modi would hit him so hard, but the injury he inflicted on me cannot be easily erased. The decent man in everyone's eyes always abused me when there was no one around. Why are we collecting this information? When I started crying and had bruises all over my body, he would kneel and beg me to forgive him and threw me a stack of money. He always dealt with it his way. He was too emotional to communicate and get along with, so I finally chose to be brave and divorce him. But I didn't expect that even after death, he would still not let me go. He even accused me of embezzling his money. That's what he gave me after he had beaten me at home. I don't lack money, I just want true love. I mean, we've seen her bank statements, it's true. His marriage hurt me and made me really tired. Okay, well, posting a picture uh, like that is a little gauche, but... Fair enough. It's your 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 toothbook feed. That said, that's sad. But you are a brave girl, and we'll find true love one day. The white knights are coming out. Cheer up. You must not let the man who committed domestic violence haunt you. Object. Well, it's just see. You must not. Just just stop. Just stop being anxious and and afraid. That's all. Objectively, both sides hold their own words, and it's very difficult to tell who is lying. Okay, then maybe you should stay out of it. Let me give you a hug, cheer up. Yeah, man, real thirsty. White knights are coming out. You showed us the real demon. Afternoon tea with my bestie. See, now that's, this is, <clears throat> okay, so I don't know how many notes I've thrown out there for, for how I would improve this to make it an OSINT simulation game, but here is a, whatever the next note happens to be is a perfect example. Any time uh, where you have subjects in an OSINT investigation, and, okay, so there's, a litany of forensic artifacts that one may discover, and they are all classified differently. But two of the most important artifacts that you can find, particularly on social media, are known as temporal and geographic artifacts. Those are things that deal with the subject in a certain time and the things with the subject in a certain place. I can't collect this date and I can't collect this image these are examples of things that we do want to know. It establishes where she was at a certain time. Now, this is far enough back. This is September 8th um, and all that kind of stuff. But if we do want to get to the reasoning behind what happened here, we need to build out a timeline. We need to know where these people were and when, and if possible, figure out who they were with. Um. Hey, Walker DF. Hey, old buddy. This is Walker. Remember, I, I have heard about your situation. Call me anytime at blah, 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 if you need help. Yep, got another thirsty white knight coming out. Is this person an old classmate of Lisa? Probably, or something. Interesting. He may know something about Lisa's past. Maybe. You think? You can make an anonymous call by using a fake identity and see what he knows. Okay. Uh, yep, here's another one. So, 8, 10, 21, sunbathing. Oh, of course I'm going to collect this picture. <laughs> For, you know, investigative reasons. Looks like Lisa is in a good mood lately. I can't believe she was assaulted by Modi. In a good by mood the way, do you lately? remember when the assault happened, according to her? Um, this is uh, August 10th, and, I mean, this is during her relationship, so... Um, so, yeah. Traveling the best way, my favorite lipstick series. I feel good things coming up. Celebrating my best friend's birthday. This would be another good thing to ca to capture. But we can't collect it. It's even dated and time-stamped, which is really convenient for us. Happy weekend. Shopping makes me happy. Yep, so she didn't seem... <laughs> 
domestic violence investigations are obviously extremely sensitive and i'm certainly this is not an actual investigation these are not actual people uh, but I'm certainly not about to uh, to make light of a situation like that. But if the game is heading in a direction where it seems to be heading, where it's insinuating that she could not have actually been a victim of domestic violence because her Facebook feed, I'm sorry, her toothbook feed um, showed that she was always happy and having fun and, and all this kind of stuff. If that's the direction the game is going, then I'm definitely not coming back for a part three because they clearly did not do any research on on any of the criminological aspects surrounding uh, domestic violence or the victimology thereof or offender profiles thereof because if they had done even an ounce of research on that they would know that this is not atypical this is a social media feed uh, somebody who is in a situation like that is not going to be posting all the time about how upset they are that they're being domestically abused this is a social this is a this is social media it's not an actual view into somebody's life. It's a view that they are presenting. And of course, a victim of domestic violence is going to present that everything is fine. That's kind of, that's endemic to the crime itself and, and the victimology thereof, as I said. So I'm warm. this game is on notice right now because it seems like that's where this is going. So let's see. I, I'm not saying that, again, I'm not commenting on any particular case. These are fictional people. But if that's what the idea is here, then this is going to be a serious, serious problem for me. Um, and I'm not coming back here for another one. Okay. Uh, so let's do the anonymous call. Oh, it's already in there for me. Hello. Who is this? Am I allowed to talk? Can you hear me? Hello, Walker? Walker, are you there? Oh, interview as a journalist. I have one option, so it's going to make me choose the one option. Journalist? I don't remember we had any connection before. How did you find me? Takes a really long time. Um... Well, it seems stupid to come clean right now. I've already lied. I, I would not necessarily have lied. I, I would have said, well, either you either you do a lie and you commit to it or you don't and uh, and hope that it all works out. Um, but uh, honestly, hmm, yeah, it seems weird to lie and then come clean right away. But at the same time, if this were me, I wouldn't have lied to begin with. I simply would have said, uh, hello, you don't know me, uh, but I am a private investigator, and I'm looking into um, what happened between Lisa and Cabell. And I understand I saw on Toothbook that you left your number that you know Lisa, and I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. So, since it's already forced me into a lie, um, but I would normally be honest, I suppose we will do the nonsense thing and come clean and then probably lose the game and have to start all over again. It seems that I have posted the phone number. Hmm. The interview is fine, but you have to make sure to report it truthfully. And I hope this is an anonymous interview. Okay, the vo voice acting leaves something to be desired, but not, you know. By well, that time, it didn't even make me click a button. It just replied for me. Thank you, that's the way it should be. Oh, it is making me click anyway. Um, so, um, I mean, I am curious to know who they are, but we are here to talk about Lisa, so. She and I are college classmates. We haven't talked are? for a long time you after are? graduation, but I did hear about her because of her divorce. Oh, I think he meant to say were. She and I were college classmates. Um... Let's see. I don't really care about their time at university, but I also don't know what the, how the hell he would know anything about marriage fraud. He hasn't mentioned anything about that. It's it seems like a more relevant question, so I'll go with that. I guess. What what ah, do you I think these are just rumors. Lisa was a very talented student. Sometimes psychologically unstable though. She would emotionally collapse whenever she became stressed out. 
She was very reliant on her boyfriends during her college years. <laughs> I, I don't believe she's capable of something like a fraudulent marriage. Okay. She was very reliant on her boyfriends during her college years. Is that right? Why is she, where did she get her money from then? She's a teacher. She shouldn't be making that much money. Because my roommate, Anthony Bakeland, was in a relationship with her, and they eventually got married. But they broke up shortly afterwards, and I don't know why. Hmm, okay. You happen to have Anthony's contact information? Phone number, email address, anything really? That's, that's what I'm asking. Sorry, I don't. And I can't from collect the, the name. And no one has heard anything about him. Is he dead too? Do we have a black widow on our hands? Okay, I can't collect... Oh, they eventually got... I can collect stuff here. Okay. I don't think I could before, but maybe I can now. What? You are amazing. We found so much useful information already. Ashley, you add nothing to the game. You come up at the worst times and say the most inane shit, and you haven't paid me dollar one since I started doing this. I just need you to know I am keeping a tab, all right? And you're going to be getting an invoice. It's going to be shocking. Let's sort out what we got. Use inference at the top right to see what conclusions we can draw. Mm -hmm. To reasoning, analyze the information collected. Okay, that doesn't, that's grammatically incorrect. What do you mean? To reasoning, analyze, to, to reasoning. Are you, is it, are you trying to say to reason? Because even that's not grammatically correct. You're saying to work out a solution? I mean, that is to reason. Whatever, I think I know, what, I think you want me to, I mean, you want me to click. So. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. I don't remember doing this in the tutorial, but maybe we did. What do we got to do? Uh, figure out whether uh, Modi committed domestic violence based on what Lisa said. Answer here. Modi did commit domestic violence. Modi did not suffer. I can't tell if it happened or not. What is the name of Lisa's... Name of the ex... As admitted by Lisa? I mean, Walker said that. Hold on. Um, yeah. I knew that her former husband was Robert Cohen. So she's been married a couple of times. I think we do have a black widow on our hands here. From the clues collected, what can we learn? Lisa is rich and helped Modi financially a lot. Lisa has a lot more, a lot of income recently. After Lisa got married, she canceled the iMeet membership. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she did receive an iMeet notification, and but it didn't have their wedding date on it. Uh... Nope. Uh, Mr. Snyder, Mr. Money came to an agreement on the divorce arrangement. That's October 2nd. The most serious instance occurred on August 9th, 2011, which caused physical industry in, in, injuries. And so they're saying this is from August 10th. She doesn't have any physical injuries. Okay. That's, that's different game. That's a little bit different. There is photographic evidence in this case. Uh, when were they supposed to have been married? Well, whatever it was, it was before August 9th. And this is after that, if I recall. At least explanation for Modi's death. Okay. Uh, then, given that we have photographic evidence, uh, then... Lisa did not suffer from domestic violence, and 
after Lisa got married, she did not do that. Lisa has trouble making ends meet. I mean, she does have a lot of income. She has been getting more money lately than before. Is there more? Lisa lied. There are more secrets hidden in this incident. All these details show that Lisa is a liar. All right. The, uh... Oh, hold on. Let me let the Ashley do her fucking jabbering and saying it's shit that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that's another thing I want to call out. This should not be... What is this uh, on Steam? I think it is a... It's Cyber Manhunt, which is fine. The title is fine. Uh, but it says, Cyber Manhunt is a story-driven puzzle game focusing on big data, hacking, citizen privacy, and social workers. It focuses on social issues such as cyber violence and privacy breaches, and it is tagged as being for hacking. Um, this should not be a... This is not a hacking game. It should not be in that 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 milieu. Uh, this is an OSINT game. Open source intelligence game. So, Lisa so we shouldn't be playing a hacker. Person. We should be Maybe playing accusations are true. an investigator. Lisa is indeed a suspicious, a suspicious person. Maybe what his accusations are true. We should continue to find out the truth behind this incident. By the way, have you checked Modi's company? I think its name is Defos. We already knew that. We knew that from the first thing. Okay. Actually, never mind. All right. I forgot. If you want to search for things, you actually have to go back to the first page and then search for them. Um, oh, okay. I can just go there. Okay. I have to search specifically for DeFoss Network. That's weird. All right. DeFoss Network Technology. Foss Consulting. Pierre DeFoss Career Profile. I think this is the only relevant one. Okay. That's for the kind of, there's this email. Okay, is that it? I'm going to check these ones out too, even though I, I don't think any of them are going to actually work. All right, now that we have his stuff, um, what else do we need? I can't remember. I think that'll be enough. Name. <laughs> oh, actually, it just occurred to me that this is not supposed to be brute forcing a password. So this should not be like you know, the, the Titan thing is a Okay, this. So the SQL database, uh, wait, who is that? If anyone from Aluba Studio is, sees this, stop with the SQL database thing. Just have this be um, some kind of closed source. So this is an open source intelligence game. That doesn't mean we can't use closed sources, but we don't have to dress them up like SQL databases either. Have this be a closed source database. Just instead of having it be a SQL, the icon and all that kind of stuff, just have it be like the Titan database or some other like police or law enforcement database. Like we're just looking up people we have data mined, right? That's that that would add that would it's just so annoying to, to have it be like we're hacking some database or something. We're we're not. 
It doesn't have to be that. This isn't a hacking game. It shouldn't be a hacking game. You, you shouldn't try to be a hacking game. This is an OSINT game. It's the only thing it's doing. It's not even trying to do anything else. It's, it's doing the OSINT part fairly well. There's some things that are certainly not the way they should be. Um, but... It could be so much better. <laughs> oh wait, we're gonna need his nickname. Uh, we did we we have his toothbook ID. Did uh, it was his um nickname on the toothbook page, but I forgot to pick it up. Mm. There. Own. House number. It's weird that it asks for a house number. Okay. And uh, the passwords should not just be their last name and then some, some characters. Let's see. You can use actual password lists or or something, um, that would be much better. Let's do the email thing. Let's do the password thing. Okay. So, six days before his death, don't worry, I'm consulting a lawyer. It's unfortunate that you met this woman. She is a devil. Don't worry about it, Capel. Everything will be okay. I am consulting my lawyer friend who's willing to help. Imani Modi. This is another thing. We should be collecting that. Why aren't we collecting that? What should I do? My sister, what should I do? In the beginning, I really loved her very much. One of the spinners. Everything went on. She went on the secrets of the company. Now she wants more and I can't afford anymore. Um, This has a bad impact. I'm worried about you. Daniel. Hello, I'm Lisa's friend. Hi, Modi. I'm Lisa's friend. My name is Carter Harris. Popping up and oh, it's, it's annoying. Uh, I'm a representative of the S. Why aren't we collecting that? We are planning to undertake a major project. I think we should have a discussion. So, what I talk is this. Sense. Uh, this is the day before his death. So sorry, Daniel. When we started this company, I gave it everything we got. But now, because of Lisa's problems, I have brought huge losses. I'm sorry, Daniel. You are my best friend. All right, Lisa threatened me again. She said she would call the police. So this is another thing that we should absolutely be collecting. This is, in his own words, Capo is talking about how Lisa was extorting him. This is critical information. Lisa's got to have been hiding for several days. I dare not return home. What scares me is that she actually found evidence of our tax evasion and gray business. So that we should be collecting this tax evasion, gray business. Why aren't we doing that? This seems like it would even go with the objectives we have right here. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. My sister, what should I do? We should be collecting this. We know that there's a re relationship here. There's a sister. Okay. All right. Now, do I have a high talk or do I need to sign up for one or what? Or do I need to use Modi's high talk? Okay. OSINT is an iterative process. We have a new name. We should do a new search. Carter Harris. Carter Harris shared folder on two drive. That shouldn't be public facing. Tip my height. Our industry is highly competitive. Just last month, in order to damage the reputation of our company, they hired a cyber army to spread rumors. That's despicable. Hmm. And you want to? Actually, I know what kind of business you run. Let me cut to the chase. I want to give my old friend a taste of his own medicine. Oh, I see. We want to manipulate public opinion on a massive scale. I know this is a gray area, 
but I'm sure you have a lot of experience. You are a good friend of my wife, so I have nothing to hide. You are right. We have millions of fake accounts that can be used to sway the country's public opinion. Even the precious presidential election needed our help. But will these fake accounts be seen through? Do not worry, absolutely not. We are using real users' avatars, profiles, and data. Our fake accounts are indistinguishable from the real ones. We have more than 300 successful cases. I can show you if you want. You've done wonderful jobs before. I think I can trust you. The volume that I want to carry out is very large. Will you be able to handle it? Of course there is no problem. We may appear to be a small data company, but the actual size of our business is far beyond everyone's imagination. We operate in the gray area, so staying low profile is important. Very good. What about the price? We are all friends, of course. The price will be the fairest. What we need to do is sign two contracts. Do you understand that? Excuse me? What do you mean by two contracts? Let me explain. For the purpose of avoiding taxes, we need to sign a fake contract with lower fees. But of course we will sign another real contract that has the actual fees. Don't worry. Work will be carried out according to the real contract. Oh, I get it. There was so much there that we should have collected, but we didn't. The, the, uh, when we did the uh, the first part where we accused Lisa of um, lying, there was a lot of evidence in there that I called out that we should have been collecting but couldn't, but it turns out that we were using it anyway. So the game is doing this thing where it's like, it's got this mechanic where you have to click things in order to collect them, but you can't click on everything to collect it, so it's kind of half in and half out. It's like, either do it or don't. Preferably don't, but, you know. And uh, the voice acting there was... Car Carter Harris talks like he's a criminal, you see, because he's a criminal, and they need to make sure you know that he's not on the up and up. Not relevant. Good. I was going to say, this better not be relevant. That's some scary shit. Uh, Alan Carter. Okay, so that was the only relevant thing. Alright, so we learned two secrets. Is that it? Okay. Um... Um, let's see what's next um, well so the next step then must be something to do with um, DeFoss Network the other guy um, because he was a co-founder, co-founder, Daniel. Oh, okay, his name was there, I didn't collect it before. Yeah, so he must know about this stuff that they're doing too, or presumably knows about the stuff that they're doing too. So, let's, Daniel Cause. Daniel K. Yep. All right, seeing what Modi's ex-wife said on TV, I think I have to speak up. Modi and I have known each other for 15 years. He's a calm and rational person. I don't believe he would commit violence against Lisa. On the contrary, one week before the incident, Lisa's Lisa and her mother came to the company and made a big scene. Behavior record. Great. We found a lot of information again. Okay, we, I, as far as I can tell, we didn't learn much that we didn't already know, except for the company secrets. Okay. Uh, 
Right. How can you tell that Modi is under great mental stress? It was possible that Modi failed to close a major business deal. Daniel said that Lisa has harassed Modi. Modi blamed Lisa for everything after their divorce. Well, Daniel said that that Lisa has been harassing Modi and costing the company money. Mentioned that several times. Uh, if I didn't mention it the last time we did this, I think I did. If I didn't, let me just say I do. I, I like this. This is a good mechanic. Um, it's uh, the the multiple choices are not. There's never one of them that's like well. You know, all of the other ones don't make any damn sense. There's enough of them, and there is enough of them with enough related information that I can see people picking them. Um, so, uh, alleged tax evasion. The company's running a gray business. Well, both. Both of them. He's evading taxes, and they're uh, using their bot network to influence elections. Closed uh, What happened to Modi's company? Um... Close me Daniel may become the next CEO. There's an disturbing possibility. Daniel believes that Lisa's appearance has affected his status in the company, so he slandered Lisa. Oh, I'm not sure which one of these is the right one. Uh, I mean, they did close a deal with Carter, but I don't remember that being a thing. I presume that Daniel will become the next CEO as the co-founder. Uh, the business is struggling with possible bankruptcy. Let's uh, hold up a second. Marty's last email. Um, it's the I don't know what to do. I've been living in fear. I think it's accept responsibility in this drama. My sister, what should I do? Let my guard down around here. She isn't important anymore. This is kind of seen as Sarah King only for the own sake. I will compromise. Well, this um, in your case, toothbrush message. No, uh, well, this is covered here. Of the SN group, um, suicide now. Do contracts? Okay. Hmm. I'm unsure. I don't think that this is slander. I guess it kind of is. We're going to assume that that's what the game is after. Mm, no, I don't think so. I'm going to choose uh, Daniel may become the next CEO because that's my assumption anyway. I assume that he will. He is the other co-founder. Oh, it's that last one. Okay. Uh, okay, then it must be the major business deal. It didn't mention that it was a major deal. No, okay. All right. I didn't see anything about possible bankruptcy, so I guess it's this one. Okay. Where's the bankruptcy come in? Uh, it would be nice if the game pointed, after a couple of failures, to the evidence that, like, highlight the one that should be what we're looking for. Because I don't remember seeing anything having to do with bankruptcy. I mean, he said, you know, we're going to be in financial trouble if people find out we've been doing illegal things, but... I don't know. Unlike what Lisa said, she did not suffer from demand. We found the real reason why Modi committed suicide. Okay. Ashley, hello. Modi is guilty. This result is still very sad. After all, he did love Lisa before. Yet look at how Lisa is treating him. Ashley, I disagree with just about everything you just said. Sure, Modi got taken advantage of by a crazy lady, but he's not a good person, and this is not sad. He was running an illegal business and influencing public opinion, including political elections. He deserved to die, and I hope he burns in hell. But I think there's still more to the story. We should ask Lisa how this happened. Modi's sister seems to be preparing to sue Lisa. We can pretend to be a lawyer and get testimony from Lisa. Uh, no, we can't. That You cannot represent yourself as an officer of the court. It is actually illegal, and also it wouldn't be testimony because uh, we wouldn't be taking a deposition or anything. Testimony is when you provide facts to the court under oath. We would just be calling her, and at best, 
uh, hoping to engage your services. But representing ourselves as an attorney is in fact illegal, and we shouldn't do that. Ashley. Ashley. You just going to sit there blinking at me? You don't have anything to say? Nice cravat. Come on. Maybe this is also solace for Modi. I don't give a fuck about solace for Modi. Modi was not a good person. Modi was a piece of shit. He tried to influence elections. Okay. You don't have anything to say to that. Okay, fine. Thanks, Ashley. Nice visit. <sighs> okay. What was the sister's name? It was Himani. Yes. Oh. There we go. No? Okay, we can't do a search then. Okay, um... Um, oh, that's right. We weren't contacting the sister. Ashley said we should contact Lisa to say that we were a lawyer. She was the one we were to misrepresent our, our, um, uh, credentials to. Do I need, uh, what do I, um, okay. How do I, I only have Walker. How do I actually dial? Okay. Um, oh, now I can open the fishing thing. Oh. Oh. It's even worse. I'm not representing myself as a lawyer. I'm actually going to represent myself as her lawyer. As James Joyce. That's even worse. Hello, Lisa. This is James Joyce, author of The Dubliners and Attorney at Law. Okay. Um, uh, I feel like coming out and asking for the truth is probably a, a bad thing to do. She's clearly not new to this and an adept liar. She's not likely to just simply come clean. I feel like appeasing is the way to go because we can just be like, it'll be fine, but there's just a couple other things that we need to handle and this will all blow over. Although, I don't know. I don't know enough about Lisa. See, this is where, this is where actual OSINT work would be helpful because all of the information that I learned about her all right, can I go back at this point? No, it's too late for that. Okay, I gotta try and remember. Um, this cockamamie collection system they have in this game has me very much outside of my investigative mode. All right, so what did we see on social media? She looked like she was fun-loving, taste for the finer things, soaking up the sun, going to fancy restaurants, she likes expensive clothes. She's getting money from somewhere. I'd say she seems kind of tough. She's been married at least three times. Whereabouts of her former husbands are unknown. Um, I'd say that if she was put under pressure, one of two things would happen. Either she would dig in like a tick, or she'd fold like a chair. More likely than not, it would result in some serious resentment. And even if she acquiesced at first, she would probably attempt to even the score later on. And then again, she probably doesn't respect people who um, would seek to appease her or to... Um,
seem like pushovers. Uh, I am going to... I think that she would respond better to strength. I don't think that she would respect somebody who seems like a doormat. I think she would walk all over them. I'm going to go with Intimidate and hope it's not too mean. Was that, a, was that a good thing or a bad thing? I saw our red flashing thing, but I also heard a noise that sounded like good. So that was confusing. Uh, we're in big trouble now. Modi's family is going to sue you. If the prosecution succeeds, it could be a criminal offense. Uh, how can they sue me, James? Didn't you say they would shut up after releasing the statement? What should I do now? Um, okay, I have no idea if I chose the right thing or not, though. I, saw, I, heard, I heard a good ding. It didn't sound like an ant eh or whatever. But I also saw her emotional state became unstable, and I saw a red flashing thing. Was that good or bad? We're in big trouble now. Um, all right, so then at this point, I feel like, is she on the edge enough that if we offered her an out, if we threw her a lifeline, would she grab it? It's too early to ask for the truth. She's still denying it. Of course, a person like this, I would never expect to ever admit the truth. Um, she's asking for a lifeline. She's putting it out there right now. I don't know if she's desperate enough, though. If we ask for the truth, this is this conversation is going to be over. It's she's not desperate enough to admit anything. Um, kind of feel like a peas is the right way to go here. No, wait. No, wait. James, didn't you say... No, she's frustrated with me. James, didn't you say they would shut up after seeing the statement? What should I do now? She's frustrated with me. She doesn't feel like... She doesn't feel like I'm doing my job. Intimidate. As I chose to sue you, I still don't know if that was right. It, she's about to collapse. Is that a good thing? Since they chose to sue you at this time, they may have found new evidence. The situation is not good for us. New evidence? You must be kidding me. Money's death has nothing to do with me. He jumped off the building on his own. How could they sue me? James, you will help me, right? Okay, that sounds more... I not only have one option anyway. That sounds like the desperation I was looking for. Okay. I can help you, but I need you to tell me what happened between you and Modi. Well, James, it's true that I lied before. Like I said at the beginning, I, I just wanted his money, but I didn't expect him to die. I've had a terrible experience in the past. Four marriages got me a little money, but too many marriages also made me miserable. However, through ugh, you're going too fast. Stop. Stop. How are you texting so fast? Um, however, four marriages, not three. Uh, we're through the tailor-made service of iMeet membership. I was about to conceal my marriage history. And baited Modi. They only use some simple techniques to make Modi fall for me, and my ambitions are getting bigger and bigger. You know that, James. I really want to go big this time. My friend, Anthony Beekland. Have they, has he been in on this the whole time? Yes, he has. Uh, he approached Modi and found all the secrets of the company, including tax evasion and his great business. And... Ashley. Okay. The dispute between Lisa and Modi has been fully investigated. To us, it doesn't matter whose fault it is. Overall, good job. I'm not done reading. Next, it's up to you whether you want to continue the investigation or end this mission. How do I end it? Uh, anyway. Uh, later on, he wanted to divorce me, but I stopped before getting the money. I still think it's going to be so we can crack a few harassments. So, you know, it gives me a sense of accomplishment. So, uh,
I don't see a way to end the. I don't see a way to end the mission. World Snooker Championship defending champion Anthony loses to Wilson. Is this a real thing? Is he a snooker player? No. Skiing accident? No. 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 Okay. Um. Why is this? I suddenly don't have this muted. No, it is muted. Oh, it's my other email. Of course it is. Um, okay. I'm not sure how, if I can, re if I, how do I end the mission? I don't know. I feel like... We're already 10% into this. Why would we stop now? Um, I don't know. Let's just poke around a couple minutes and see how hard it is to get the rest of this. Maybe... Maybe maybe it is optional or something, and I'm not seeing... Oh, okay, well, now that we have his real name, we can do this. Although I had his real name before. Whatever. I didn't have his high talk. I didn't know that they were the same person, so... Um, oh, I don't have his... Um, don't have his... Um... um I don't have his uh, nickname. Telephone number. Oops. Um, is his nickname Carter Harris? Or should I search for, did I search for Carter Harris? Yeah, I did. That's where I got the two drive from. Um, is that his nickname? Oops, I put this telephone number for DOB. Uh, I guess let's try it. Did that work or is that okay? It seems to have worked. Okay. Uh, we don't have his email, but we do have his high talk. So I'm guessing that's what this password is too. Okay, there it is. Um, up to the top. Group chats. Enough playing around. Get ready to wrap up. Lisa, you did a great job. We're ready to make a divorce and compensation proposal. Who's Angla? And why can't I collect that name? Uh, I've been from 10% to 55% with just that clue. That doesn't seem right. Okay, I can't stand this ugly monster anyway. Haha, don't say that. He's our patsy. I have deep sympathy for him. Who the fuck is Kevin? Who are these people? Why aren't we collecting this information? Harris has already gotten out there. At least he's start threatening him. Okay. Scam gang. Yeah, no shit. Uh, While well, I will pose as your mother and go make a scene at the company, roger that. I found a new target on iMeet, and he looks even more loaded. We'll all be rich. Ha 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 ha. He doesn't have 10 million. Can we accept 6 million? He said, what's wrong with him? He must pay the full bill. We don't negotiate, and he should not think about cutting even a penny 
work on it. Find a lawyer and pressure him. Oh, Kevin. No, Kevin is not. That's James Joyce is the attorney. Uh, we should scare him into begging us. Make him willingly give us his money and estate. He said you need to push harder. Well, I will continue to pressure him. I may have gone too far now. He says he wants to die, which I do. The coward only knows how to cry. Don't stop. Pre uh, keep pressuring him. Then let him die. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, he really jumped off the building. We have to meet immediately and figure out what to do. Fred, this is a scam, damn liar. You will be cursed. Hello, Harris. Lisa referred you to me. I am very happy to meet you. Hello, Lisa. Welcome. Game today. This is, again, temporal information we want to collect. After we get the money, I want to quit. Are you nuts? You better keep doing it. I have helped you make enough money from these marriages. These guys have been paid off. I just want freedom, please. Shut up, bitch. Then I can never, there can never be enough money, so don't even think about running away. Don't forget all the dirty work you did before. If I hear all this again, all of your stories will be made public. Okay. Uh, he's been in contact with uh, Daniel. Huh, it's perfect. Okay. So Daniel is in on this somehow. Okay. Um. Can't add anybody else. I'm eighty percent, so I'm missing at least something or other. Uh. I still don't feel bad for him, though. The man is legitimately a criminal in his own right, just because he uses. Computer systems instead of a gun doesn't make it any better. He was running illegal businesses and offering his um, illicit trade to very unsavory people. I'm not saying he deserved to die, but I'm also saying he didn't necessarily deserve to live. Um, oh, hey, I just had an idea. Um, I just had an idea. I wonder if we can... Um, when was this message about finding a new person here? That was, uh, that was, okay, that was August 8th. Um, oh, there's, a, okay, there's a new thing. It's not what I expected to see there, but okay. Hello, this is imeet.com. How may I help you? I don't, honestly, I don't know. I'm not really sure why I'm calling you. Call is a, okay. I'm a VIP customer. Thank you for purchasing the VIP service. The pauses between these are odd consultation about modifying the mayor oh that's right she did say that she had contacted them to modify the marital profile okay yeah now i now i get it um i don't quite understand what special thing are you referring to <laughs> well this is i meet isn't it i've heard there's some ladies on there if you know what i mean so you want me to change your marital status Yes, that's right. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't make the change. All profiles on our website must be certified. We can't modify any user information. Please understand. I understand that a uh, certain Lisa Snyder was able to modify her marital profile. Okay, that's hopefully the last thing I need. This is different from what Lisa said. Yeah, it is. Maybe she lied. 
Is iMeet really? Perhaps it's easier to just hack into iMeet servers and see if there is any useful info. Okay. Uh, all right. We, well, we kind of already knew that. We've already been on iMeet to look at her profile. Okay. Why can't I just enter URLs? Whatever. Okay. Don't try so hard. The best things come when you least expect them to. VIP one-to-one -one service will accurately find your match. Can't join. All right. Uh, marital status, no preference. Marital status, single. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot about this hacking. Thing. Hack into the meet. I meet official server. Hack into the. I meet dot com. I can't remember what I have to do here. It's been too long. Can I? No escape possible. Okay. I need server. I can't remember what to do here. Uh, I can't remember what to do here. Um, do I have to actually do the thing that it says there? www.imeet.com? Yes. Stupid. That's stupid. That's dumb. Successfully obtained the... Whatever. Enter dynamic password here. 2XGB. <laughs> it looks like it says bussy. <laughs> okay, well, at least that wasn't case sensitive, so. Uh, to ensure some measures as possible. Okay. Uh, VIP benefits intro. Select. And then it does the stupid pop up thing. Uh, customer log, I don't see her name on it. Customer info, CSV, I don't see her name. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Boot log. Access, okay, there's only seems to be one, one thing on here. Oh, clues that can be found, one of one. Okay. And that's it. We got it. We got it. That's everything. Submit. Oh. There's still a couple things to get. We got everything. I mean, all the checks are there. What did I miss? Will it tell me what I missed? Uh, what happened to Modi? This, that, the other. Okay, continue. Save. Invisible eyes. Is that the next chapter?
What? What's about to happen? Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Not very inconspicuous for a hidden camera, but okay. <laughs> Am I about to get demonetized? I'm just kidding. I don't monetize the videos. <laughs> That's the thing. YouTube can't touch you if you don't want their money. <laughs> All right, seems we got some kind of creep. Oh, I'm not ready for the next mission. For sure. Maybe next time. No escape. There is no escape. I'm not doing this one. Ashley. Nope. I'm not answering. Shut up. Putting you on mute. Okay, well, that was the second part here of uh, Cyber Manhunt. Uh, I think I'm on the fence about it still. I was on the fence about it when I first played it. Overall, my recommendation is still uh, no, but I re it's a really reluctant no. Okay, all right. Lisa, Lisa, or Ashley, sorry. Ashley, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Taking the headphones off. All right, it's a, it's still a no, but it's a reluctant no. And the reason that it's a reluctant no is because it's got so many good things going for it. Uh, it just falls short when it comes to, um, I suppose, the one major way it sh falls short is in terms of the challenge level and realism. Uh, the, I like the game world. I like the art style. Um, I like, I even, I, I even like the story. Like that was a, that was really interesting and compelling. The whole Capo Modi thing, finding out that there's a, a group of scammers out there that are doing this. That's awesome. Uh, and I love the fact that it is an OSINT game cause I so rarely come across those. Uh, and it's a, it's a pretty good one too, uh, because the, it uses websites that look decent it uses uh email and phishing uh you've got voice you've got uh chat services uh those are all really awesome additions to the game the problem is that number one you it, it, the okay number one the ashley is annoying as fuck uh but uh num number real number one is that it's billing itself as you're a hacker and you're hacking into these places that's not what this game is uh, and it shouldn't be. Every time it tries to go in that direction, it's, it just feels bad. Uh, it, it just doesn't work. Uh, because this isn't a hacking game. This is an investigation game. This is an OSINT game. This is an OSINT puzzle game. Um, and so if it just did away with all... And, and, and it doesn't utilize the hacker aesthetic or, or tools or anything hardly at all. Which is why when it does, it's like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be a hacker and this is dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so it's not a hacking game. It should stop trying to build itself as that instead go for the OSINT puzzle game because as an OSINT puzzle game, it's a pretty damn good one as a hacking game. It sucks. Um, so like the stuff like at the very end there where we were trying to hack the Gibson in order to, to get to I meet servers or whatever. No, we shouldn't be doing that. Uh, stick to open source intelligence open source intelligence uh, and then to fix the challenge level it would be great if it held your hand a little bit less and stopped highlighting really important pieces of information just give you uh, a notepad in game to take notes uh, and uh, and do with that the the there's a couple of other things that are kind of annoying ui issues with the browser and the having to go all the way back to the home page in order to conduct a new search uh, and, and all that kind of crap uh, could do without um, the uh, fact that if you click a, a wrong link that it takes you to a, basically a 404 page is kind of a dead giveaway that it doesn't contain any relevant information so it would be great if those fake pages uh, would actually have something on them that may be a red herring or maybe completely unrelated uh, this could be a, a, this could be the best goddamn OSINT puzzle challenge game I have ever played uh, if it just leaned into that um, but it's not, uh, in its current incarnation. That said, I'm coming back for more. I'm going to do a part three on this because the tutorial level was a little dull. I think that it's, if I remember correctly, the tutorial level was a little bit more on the OSINT and then the hacking than the, than, but the last one, the last one was a good challenge. 
uh, and it was fun to do. So I'm going to come back for a third one. We're going to try the hidden eyes thing and see if they go more towards the, the investigative uh, game uh, or more towards the hacking game. Because if they do the latter, then, then the third part might be my last part. But I enjoyed this quite a bit. So I'm going to be back for a part three. All right. So if you're going to come back for that one, I will see you there.